workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer that coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. How do I use the keypad on the desk? He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention oh, there it was is. caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, Lord. gone to the boss's toilet I went to the door and tried to open the door but it wouldn't let me in so I'm not quite sure of the process Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility Okay, mind control. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh, is this the one that uh, we saw earlier? Cameras. revealed each You're fired. the number of an employee in the building Stanley's co-workers the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen and Stanley one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing freedom meant nothing yeah one of these was our office Let's see, 427 is right there. Okay, I see our office. But nobody's in there. Hmm, okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't Never. It? 
Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yep. That's me. Totally blind. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Mind control status Happy offline. Or sad. Or content. Walking. Eating. Working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I would? Why would I want to do that? Dark, I can't see. see anything. Waiting input. Looking for buttons uh, three and four. Even a button for hmm. Where's button four? There's five. It's up there. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Supposed to be stairs right here. I can't see. It is so dark. I cannot see at all. Now we go push five. I'm just following the lights, hoping there's a path. Five. All right, now we need to push the big red button. Yeah, it's flashy, flashy now. Okay. 
pushing a button, nothing happening. Did I do something wrong? Is there a time limit on when to push the button? Buttons are hard to find. Yeah, they are. But I don't know if I'm supposed to push them in order or what. I don't know if there's a time limit on them. Is there a sequence? One, two, these stairs come from? Four. red button, right? Nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Let's just go into the facility here and see what happens. Mind control. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Okay. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, really? eliminating the entire complex. Nice. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Where we're going. Re-enter password code. I barely know where to start. What's that? Oh. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. I can see. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. Code. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. I erased them. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are <laughs> precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Re-enter code. 
Oh dear me, what's what is the, the code? Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Oh, three. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Is that right? These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Idea. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still oh, playing look, instead of watching a ah. cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Are we even Take supposed a look at the to clock, do that? Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. I'm so Just disabled. you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let Goodbye, it employee 427. Another choice. Ooh. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Okay, well that was interesting. Is that what it is? I'm thinking I have to push the off button. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This They're is really good right ending, yeah. It? Okay, is well that's what we'll do next. We'll do, we'll push the off button. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I know I could probably go to the Can boss's office by taking the door on the left, but, but I want to... Business, Take Stanley the exact the door same left. path, and so he detoured through the to ensure ahead kind to the of door make sure I get to track. where I'm going. Because this game is Yet weird. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The, uh, see, I've tried going to the bathroom here. Didn't let me in the bathroom. Oh, holy cow. Maybe I was standing too close to the door. I was expecting say I was doing this and then just left. Hello. Can't see myself. Oh. Uh, to be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Extreme bathrooms. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill Supremes. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. <laughs> it just, see, it does change. <laughs> Bet you look real. Uh, bet you look pretty in the glasses. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 